What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at another altcoin for review in this week's top five altcoins to make you rich series that we're starting. Uh, I believe it's going to be a one of five coins that we're going to be doing. Maybe we'll extend it on and look at some other cryptocurrencies as we continue on forward. But we will be looking at a different cryptocurrency in today's video. Uh, specifically, I do want to talk about the market as you guys know, the past couple of days, we haven't really been seeing much movement at all. We did start to just recently see a little spike in a lot of the cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin specifically was a big one that we're going to continue to talk about in today's episode as we did break out fairly high, um, but ultimately is getting you know reclaimed again by this moving resistance, which is pushing the price of cryptocurrency down. We even have Ethereum hitting the same resistances too. So it's a lot of these cryptos battling resistances besides the one that I do want to discuss in today's episode um otherwise if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up remember to follow me on twitter at crypto v official this way if you have any questions comments or concerns you can dm me over there otherwise let's jump into today's episode all right, guys, so as you can see, yesterday's video, we discussed the top five altcoins to get you rich in 2020 part one. Um, it was a very interesting video yesterday. We discussed Zcash and the importance of Zcash in the top five altcoins. I did say that there's no order, general order for picking these cryptocurrencies. It is just purely based on statistics, the way that these charts are aligning, but none of them rank above each other. I just think these are five old coins that are most likely going to stick around and last and make you potentially quite a bit of money. Now, these aren't necessarily blue chip uh, cryptos. I definitely consider them more like mid cap cryptocurrencies. There are no you know, real charmer out there, but they're definitely up there in regards to a good investment. Um, that was a little you know sneak peek of what it is that I'm referring to. But as you guys can see, current coin market cap, most of the things that we have on the board here are pretty much down. You can see that everything for the most part is just down trading sideways. Small dip on the seven day graph, price graph right here, but otherwise coins aren't really moving at all. You know, what's interesting is we used to be so gung ho on this channel about Litecoin, and just over time, the volume and the traction that Litecoin had has just you know whittled out to borderline nothing i mean people are just not interested in litecoin anymore and it's unfortunate because it was such a great coin to trade around with but uh the coin that we are going to be looking at today specifically is cardano cardano is the coin to review now before we jump into any sort of technical analysis or trading i do just want to mention once again that we are doing the crypto tv dudex 200 dollars bitcoin giveaway um it is completely free to enter all you have to do is click the link in the description down below it will literally bring you to this page and you have up to seven ways to enter this giveaway completely free the more you know ways you enter the more entries you have the better luck and better chances are of you actually winning um so very simple definitely make sure to sign up for dudex by clicking visit the page to enter sign up because when i do send the 200 hundred dollar bitcoin of bitcoin i will have to deposit it in a dudex account and if you don't have one you're not going to be able to get it so definitely make sure it is completely free to sign up too so just click over here visit the page and make sure to do this as well as the other ones. So, um, you know, we just had this launched for about four days now and we have over 300 people that have entered it, which is pretty awesome. So definitely make sure to check it out as well. Um, otherwise, to jump back into the technical analysis, Cardano, Cardano is gonna be the coin. And what's interesting too is on the current coin market cap, Cardano is ranking above Litecoin, which it's just phenomenal to me. Litecoin used to be like number three, number two, uh, maybe not number two, but number three. And now it's fallen all the way down to eight, which is just incredible to see. But I feel like people are leaving um, Litecoin and other cryptocurrencies and other altcoins are starting to replace it, which I've never thought about before. But that gives us some, you know, some other views. You know, XRP used to trade at number three, and I think at one point it almost hit number two. And now it's down to number four. So there are other cryptos that we do have to spend quite a bit of time looking at and discussing as, you know, we have to change with the market. If we don't change, we'll be left behind. Now, looking at Cardano, this to me, when I first saw this coin, does show some pretty amazing things here. Now, obviously, looking at the daily, you can see right here, we have been nothing but parabolic movements blasting off to the upside. And if we obviously capitalized off a run like this earlier, we would have made out on about, geez, uh, 
a lot of money. Let's just put it at that. 184%, you know, uh, bullish breakout to the upside. Now, using Cardano to trade around with it, um, I'm not too sure if it's on Coinbase Pro. I think it is. If not, I know 100% it's on Binance, which is another great exchange website if you wanted to use. Um, but specifically, the reason I'm showing you guys Cardano is more importantly looking at its weekly charts right here. You can see the weekly charts, how important this is. Because as you guys remember, Zcash, Zcash was below its moving averages here and it was kind of hitting a hiccup a, a little bit of an issue here and you know i could pull it up but i just want you guys to realize that we were overbought right here at this price level we collapsed ever so slightly uh, corrected downwards ever so slightly to get back inside um the overextended range and then immediately after getting back inside there we exploded all the way up so it is most definitely possible to experience even more bullish rallies and bullish movements to the upside, even if we're retesting this top resistance here, which is incredible to see. And it is very, very, very useful. Now, the great thing about this is this shows you that, you know, we can experience big runs in the market. You know, we've seen, let me just move this off. Basically, you know, you can see that Cardano has been trading sideways for quite a long time, eventually just flatlined out. People were probably, you know, getting bored of Cardano as it had months on months on months on months of just the sideways consolidation, no movement, little volume. And then, you know, it just popped off. It took off. Eventually coins like this do do that. And that's the incredible part about trading cryptocurrency. You can see this, I would also ultimately say this is about a year it was dormant for a year and then the moving average started to form and almost always every single time we eventually move back up to the moving average even if we entered overbought we moved back up to the moving average we closed in between here and that is incredible so this should be showing you guys signs that even in a bear market we can capitalize off these massive jumps in prices and these massive jumps can happen in cryptocurrency now i'm not saying that xrp and some of the other cryptos are going to be extremely bullish uh cardano is definitely trading the opposite but consider that eventually xrp will have to in the long term catch up and play catch up to its moving averages you can see now looking at um where is it cardano on its weekly eventually it did climb back up to its moving average all the way up here eventually xrp is going to have to do that too xrp is eventually going to have to climb back up to you know 40 cents or close in between this moving average now Who's to say we're not going to dip first, fall all the way down to 14 cents, then shoot up? We very well could, um, but we really do have to spend quite a bit of time looking at the way XRP is trading. Who knows? Maybe XRP is going to do the same thing as Cardano did and just flatline trade like this and then eventually swing up. This is 100% possible. Looking at how Cardano did, it dropped flatlined out and then swung back upwards the same exact thing can happen with xrp as we let it obviously this can take quite a bit of time but just be you know considering the thought that investing long term in crypto is potentially a good idea if you know what cryptos and altcoins to invest in cardano is a great example i do believe cardano is going to continue to head up just i think it needs to you know kind of set back down uh get outside of its moving average right now i do believe that we're fairly overbought we are fairly overbought trading extremely overextended on the weekly and i do believe it does need a little bit more of consolidation so i do think it is a red zone to be buying in right now obviously consolidation is happening right now we're back below um overextended on the daily but the weekly is just extremely extremely aggressive and above here but it does show you know an uptrend there is a clear uptrend right here something that's not at all what i meant to do let's get rid of that um you can clearly see the uptrend that i am referring to it is something along the lines of like this there is this movement upwards which is absolutely great don't you know don't get me wrong but i do believe we need to see some sort of consolidation obviously investing in coins like this before here would have been a better alternative anticipating the swing to the upside now it's like fomo buying in at least that's the way i view it but this is a great reference to what we could see happen in a lot of the other altcoins such as bitcoin ethereum xrp um i think tomorrow we might just go back on to the regular technical analysis because i feel like i didn't get to cover bitcoins that much at all but as you guys can clearly tell bitcoin is having trouble once again retesting its resistance it is flatlined out on this moving average as we battle the downtrend once again most most likely going to be breaking bearish most likely going to hit this resistance and collapse the price we are still 
waiting and anticipating a drop in price as you guys can clearly see ethereum is once again battling its downtrend and there's a good chance it is going to break bearish as well xrp is the only coin that looks like it could have potential to eventually swing up but if bitcoin and the other altcoins decide to start tanking there's a good chance it's going to pull xrp down with it um, otherwise, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, guys. Uh, like I said, if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to enter the giveaway completely free. Link is down below. Um, otherwise, that pretty much is going to wrap up today's video. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.